Beardy do 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 do. You thought I went away, but I just took a break. Cause I need a break. I had a friend over, and we drank a lot. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. Did you miss me? Did you thought that I quit YouTube? Well, guess what? I'm not going anywhere. Cause I want money. And I want you to like and subscribe to my channel, okay? Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. Today, we're gonna talk about tax brackets because I am sick and tired of stupid tax myths, okay? I'm gonna destroy them, so pay attention. Now, have you ever heard somebody say, oh my God, don't take a raise. If you take a raise, you're gonna go into a higher tax bracket and you're actually gonna make less money. Well, guess what? That is the dumbest thing that I ever freaking heard in my life. That is BS. You always take a pay raise, okay? And I'm gonna show you why. So, we're gonna talk about the United States federal tax brackets and how they actually calculate how much tax you owe, okay? In this example, we're gonna assume that you make $80,000 a year. I know, big money, right? $80,000 a year and that you're single because nobody's ever gonna love you. So you make 80 grand a year and you're single. And I'm just kidding, I'm sure there's somebody for everybody. All right, now, in the United States, we have these things called tax brackets, right? And a tax bracket is basically how much a percentage of your income you pay in tax on a specific band of income, all right? So in this example, if you are in, if you make $80,000 a year, your marginal tax bracket is gonna be 22%, right? What that means is that that is the highest tax bracket that you're in, all right? Your total tax that you're gonna pay is not gonna be 22% on all 80,000. You're only gonna pay 22% on a certain band of income of your 80,000, right? Now, I'll go into detail and we'll see if this makes more sense. So, if you make $80,000 a year, your first zero to $9,875 is taxed at 10%, all right? You could be a millionaire, you can make a trillion dollars a year, but your first zero to $9,875 is taxed at 10%, no matter what, by the federal government, okay? It doesn't matter, 10%. If you only made $9,875 a year, you would theoretically be in the 10% tax bracket, but you'd be above the standard deduction, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. So in this case, since you make more than 9875, you're gonna pay the full 10% tax on all of those thousands. So if you take 10% of 9875, you get 98750, all right? So that is the tax that you owe on this band of your income. Moving on, the next marginal tax bracket is 12%. You pay 12% between 9876 and 40,125 of income, all right? Not here, not here, just between these two numbers, all right? So what you do is you take 40,125 minus 9,876, and then you multiply that by 12%. And that shows you how much tax you owe on that band of income. So if you're making 80 grand, that first band, that money is only taxed at 10%, and that's what you pay. This band, between 9,800 and 40,125, is taxed at 12%, and you pay this much, all right? Now you're gonna move on to your marginal tax bracket. This is your highest tax bracket. This is the bracket that you're actually in. But you don't pay that tax rate on your entire income. Only on the band. Only on the band. So the 22% bracket is the next bracket. And you pay 22% federal tax between 40,126 and 85,525. Now if you noticed, you only made 80,000. So your highest marginal tax bracket, your marginal tax bracket, falls within this band. So that is your marginal tax bracket, okay? So you take 85,525 
minus 40,126, multiply it by 22%, and boom! That's how much tax you owe on that band. Now to get your total tax owed, and we're not counting standard deductions, okay? If you're a tax person, I'm not doing standard deductions, I'm just illustrating tax brackets. To calculate your total tax owed, you add the tax owed on the 10% band, you add that to the tax owed on the 12% band, and then you add that to the tax owed on the 22% band. Total it up, and you actually owe $13,389.66 in federal income taxes out of the $80,000 you make. Okay? So, if you took a raise and you, your next raise was above $85,525, you wouldn't be losing money. You would just be moving into the next tax bracket. And the money within that band on the next tax bracket would be taxed at the next marginal rate. All right? It doesn't retroactively apply to your entire income. All right? So don't listen to those idiots that tell you, don't take a raise. It's stupid, okay? Now, if you owe this much tax, of course, excluding standard deductions, your effective tax rate on your entire income is really 16.74%, all right? You're in the 22% tax bracket for your income, for this band of your income, but your actual total tax rate by taking your taxes owed and dividing it by your income is 16.74%, all right? That's your real tax rate, all right? Does that make sense? So always take a freaking raise. And hopefully I've clarified how freaking tax brackets work, okay? So if you move up to the next tax bracket, you're not getting screwed. Yeah, you pay a little bit more income tax on that band of income, but you're not paying it for the entire 80, 90,000, all right? Don't listen to stupid financial myths. Just like and subscribe to Strongman Personal Finance for more delicious information. You have a wonderful day.